Hi friends, so I am back again with another video on the countries in our neighborhood. You would have seen my videos on the Mauritius, Maldives, Sri Lanka. These are our, our neighbors and affect our geopolitical situation in this zone where India is a growing power and a power to reckon with. Recently, our Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited Bhutan where he was honored with the highest civilian award that is given in Bhutan. Also, this year he has inaugurated the Supreme Court of Bhutan and has assured help in the IT sector and digital marketing so that Bhutan can be put onto the global map of the digital arena. The relation between Bhutan and India goes long back before independence when the state of Bhutan was given the status of a protected state by the British Raj at that time that is pre-independence but after that in 49 a treaty of friendship was signed between these two countries so that defense economy and cooperation that is with trade and culture could grow and blossom. India also gave it a state of a protected state but not a protracted state so that these two countries do not interfere into each other's foreign policies and internal matters though India has a good amount of say in the foreign policy decisions of Bhutan. In the case of defense, a 2000 strong contingent of the Indian Army is placed at Bhutan near Funchling to train the Bhutanese Army or the Royal Bhutan Army and this contingent is called the Indian military training team, the IMTRAD. On 9th August 1949, India and Bhutan signed the Treaty of Friendship calling for peace between the two nations and non-interference into each other's internal affairs. All this, the state of a big brother came in when China annexed Tibet and then the relations between India and Bhutan became more closer. In 1958, the then Indian Prime Minister Johala Nehru visited Bhutan and reiterated India's support for Bhutan's independence and later declared in the Indian Parliament that any aggression against Bhutan would be seen as an aggression against India. Again in August 59, the reports in Indian media was that China was seeking to liberate Bhutan and Sikkim and that is when Nehru stated in the Lok Sabha that the defense of the territorial uprightness and frontiers of Bhutan was the responsibility of government of India. And that was the time when India took on the onus of keeping the sovereignty of Bhutan intact. Although the relations remained close and friendly, the Bhutanese government expressed a need to negotiate parts of the treaty to enhance Bhutan's sovereignty and Bhutan began to slowly assert an independent attitude in foreign affairs by joining the United Nations in 1971. Recognizing Bangladesh and signing a new trade agreement in 1972, 
provided an exemption from export duties for goods from Bhutan to third countries. Bhutan also aligned itself with the non-aligned movement, had free trade with Bhutan, had free trade with India and also had relations with Bangladesh. And at this stage, it is very imperative to mention that when the ULFA or the United Liberation Front of Assam was active, the Royal Bhutan Army personnel took action against them when they tried to enter Bhutan and take refuge there. In 2007, again the Treaty of 1949 with Bhutan was revisited and the new treaty replaced the provision requiring Bhutan to take India's guidance on foreign policy with broader sovereignty and not require Bhutan to obtain India's permission over arms import. The then Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh visited Bhutan and expressed strong support for Bhutan's move towards democracy. India allows 16 entry and exit points for Bhutanese trade with other countries and has agreed to develop and import a minimum of 10,000 megawatts of electricity from Bhutan by 2021. But this free trade and movement restricts Bhutan to have any communication with China. And over the years, Bhutanese government has been getting an assistance of more than 500 million crore dollars worth of support from India within the neighborhood policies and foreign policies that is there so that Bhutan can grow into an independent state and be a flourishing democracy. So India has been taking care of its smaller nations around it so that they can grow and India does not have any vested interests to take over their sovereignty. So friends, if you have liked this video, please like, share and subscribe and also do not forget to put in your comments. Keep watching this channel for other future videos on the geopolitics of the region. Jai Hind!